Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer, and I'm glad you're with us today. We are in Santa Cruz County. Our roadshow continues up and down the state of California, and we are joined today by Casey Beyer. He is the executive director of the Santa Cruz County Business Council, which exactly is what? Brad, thank you for in sure, of course. inviting me here today. I appreciate it. Sure. Uh, the Santa Cruz County Business Council is a membership organization mm. of about 70 to 85 member companies in the Santa mm. Cruz County area. And we advocate on behalf of our member companies uh, on public policies that impact their employers and the employees that, that work for them. Uh, we have uh, l large companies, small companies, internet companies, uh, hospitality companies, companies from the ag community. Mm. We're the only, uh, what we like to say is the economic uh, vitality voice of the business community countywide. It's similar to a regional chamber of commerce, is that fair? Yeah, regional chamber of commerce and we partner with the ones in, in, in the region, both in Monterey County, San Bernardino right. County, and Santa Cruz County. I know that one of the issues that is incredibly pressing in this county, having driven on the roads in this <laughs> county, is traffic and transportation. For those of us who are watching statewide, give us a sense of the traffic impacts up and down Santa Cruz County? Well, Santa Cruz County's uh, infrastructure is dilapidating. It's mm. been falling apart for, for decades because we're simply not keeping up with the need. Yeah. The main well, why, is it because so many people have moved into this county unexpectedly with the explosion of Silicon Valley? Is it that there's not enough funding coming through? What is it, all of the above? Well, it, it, there's several uh, mm -hmm. issues. First of all, uh, the uh, population of Santa Cruz County uh, has not been growing uh, dramatically. We have a, 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 a measure in the county that limits growth. Okay. So the county's not going to explode, but the uh, surrounding counties, and predominantly Silicon Valley and its economic engine, drives people. Mm -hmm. well, where do they go? To the coast. Literally drives people. Drives yeah. people to the coast. Mm -hmm. So we have, on average, about 30,000 people a day living in Santa Cruz County that work in Silicon Valley. Mm. So that adds to the commute congestion on Highway 17 and Highway 1. Mm -hmm. uh, Highway 1 is the major corridor from basically from north, uh, in, from San Mateo County into right. Monterey County. Right. And that uh, corridor is impacted. Uh, during the peak hours of the day, uh, in, in the evenings going south, it can be an hour and a half to go seven miles. Oh. Uh, and it's the reverse commute in the morning where Watsonville and, uh, uh, residents that work in Santa Cruz for the jobs, they can spend an hour and a half, two hours trying to get to the workplace. So simply put, the, the, it's not the, tenable. It's not, it's not sustainable. It's mm -hmm. not tenable. And th this is an opportunity that we're working on with the public officials in the county to put a measure on the ballot right. in November uh, with the intent to create uh, revenue locally so that we can take care of ourselves. And let's talk about exactly what that measure is. It's not uncommon, many counties, LA County, lots of counties are looking to find revenue sources locally because while the state is looking at the transportation question in special session, we'll get there in a second, who knows when that will come. And so the measure on the ballot, half cent sales tax increase within Santa Cruz County, you'll need two thirds vote. Correct. Explain how you build that coalition. Well, here's the unique opportunity. Uh, they tried this in 2004 and Didn't fell, go well. fell, fell short. And there was three reasons for that. One, the political will was not there. Number two, the coalition of, the, of what I call mm -hmm. the common good wasn't organized. And number three, the opposition was. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of uh, do a switch the flip uh, mm -hmm. in time. 2016, uh, the political context, uh, the support at the, at the city and the county level is there. And the business community and the coalitions of the environmental community, the bike community, mm. and the residents are seeing that there's a need to change. And I think it's a dramatic shift that you haven't seen in Santa Cruz County for a long time. So are we looking, for example, at widening the roads? Are we looking at congestion lanes? Are we looking at more public transportation? Because obviously you need to do something to ease the traffic pressure. The RTC, the Regional Transportation Commission of Santa Cruz County, uh, uh, pulled together in 2014 mm -hmm. their regional plan, of which identified the needs of the community. And you're right, Brad, you hit on all of them. Mm. Uh, we need congestion management. We need uh, a widening of Highway 1. We need uh, mm -hmm. bike and pedestrian access. Uh, we need to uh, look at alternative transportation modes. Uh, a rail trail is an option that's on the table. We need, really? We need to improve mm -hmm. the opportunity for kids to get to school safely. We need to improve the bus and the transit and the paratransit system. So uh, over the last two years, the, the county officials and the community have been looking at what really does the community need, and they need it all. 
Mm. So the measure that is being uh, pushed to be on the ballot in November really has something what I'll call it's an all-in opportunity. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, options of funding mechanisms that some people don't like or they support one over the other. But the end result is if you package the, the, the measure together, you'll get something for everyone. And I think that's the goal where you get two-thirds vote. The question then becomes, presuming passage, how quickly do these projects go online? Are we preparing now for that eventuality? We think about the water bond, for example, passed in November 2014. There's a lot of frustration by the fact that we haven't seen storage projects being built above or below ground. So how do you kind of fast track this? Well, uh, from the business community context, we've told the public officials, look, if you're going to come to the taxpayer and ask for money, and we do pass this measure, we want a return on that investment. Mm. We want it sooner than later. So I would, I would implore you to look at opportunities where we can make infrastructure improvements immediately. The key with the, 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 the transportation measure is really threefold. Please. One, uh, if we pass the measure, we become a self-help county. What does that mean exactly? Self-help is where the county is collecting revenue streams locally for local needs, and they're not going to be dependent on the state or the federal government, which simply doesn't deliver to a small rural community like Santa mm -hmm. Cruz County. So self-help is critical. That's the number one goal, because then we have re revenue locally. Mm -hmm. Then we can use that revenue locally to bond for opportunities. Right. Second, secondly, is that you, you get the coalition of the common good together, which is uh, the environmental community, mm -hmm. all the stakeholders to agree that doing nothing is not the answer. Right. And you focus on that. And third, you minimize the people that just really don't want to see change. Hmm. So you mentioned self-help, and there's no doubt that if the sales tax passes, you will have your own revenue stream. But there is the question of California and Washington, D.C. Uh, right now, California's in special session on transportation, looking at potential issues relating to the gas tax, looking at issues relating to mileage fees, congestion pricing, tolls. Washington did recently pass a highway transportation bill, miraculously. So how does the uh, those two entities and their potential movement impact Santa Cruz County? Perfect question to ask because I, I call the, the, the federal money and the state money is, is not a guarantee. That's true. But if you have local matching funds, you actually become more competitive in the opportunities right. to seek that money. Currently, uh, Santa Cruz County can't compete. Uh, and it's uh, a known fact just recently, the California Transportation Commission basically decommissioned over two billion dollars of revenue streams for projects through, through what's called the STIP program. Mm. I, I know of what you're speaking. And so that signals to uh, the elected officials in Sacramento that we need to really take this seriously because we can't live in the past and make things happen for the future. In our final moments, there'll be more jobs, hopefully, if this measure passes, some of them in construction, engineering, whatever it may be. And your organization is launching what's known as Monterey Bay Internships, an innovative program linking businesses with some of the finest educational institutions in the region. Really a nice segue to the question, <laughs> Brad, that's great. A couple of years ago, we polled our, uh, our business community and said, What's, what's the real concern? He says, one, it's finding workers. Right. And number two is retaining the workforce in the area. Uh, we, so we turned to the university and we asked the question to the university, where do the students look for a job? And they would go uh, online, da, 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 yeah. they'd go to Craigslist, right, they'd right. go to you know, a number of sources. And we said, there's got to be a better solution. Right. So we went out to the Community Foundation of Santa Cruz County sure. and said, can you help us create a one-stop portal for uh, a, a where a, an employee, employer can put a res put a job right. posting on, and he can match it up with a student. And that one-stop shop is mbinterns.org. He is Casey Beyer. He is the executive director of the Santa Cruz County Business Council. We are in Santa Cruz County today. My name is Brad Pomerantz, and this is Charter Local Edition.